it's Medina from The Clarinet Life. And today, what I would like for you to do is a warm up with me. This warm up is perfect for the clarinetist who's had a year or two under their belt. Uh, we're gonna go over two scales, one octave. The two scales that we're gonna go over is F major and G major. Scales are really, really important. They're the building blocks of great playing. I like to call it the broccoli and Brussels sprouts of music playing because these are really important building blocks that are gonna help us become better players. So I first wanna start off with the G scale. Now every key has its own DNA, its own special quality that makes it what it is. And for G major, what makes it so special is that it has one sharp. That one sharp is F sharp. So any time that you're playing music and you only have one sharp and it happens to be F sharp, you might be in G major. So let's get started with the notes that are involved. So our lowest note is going to be our G. Now in any key, the first note, we call, I will call that the first scale degree. So the first note for scale degree of G major is going to be G. And we're going to be playing our lowest G on the clarinet. The fingering is thumb, meaning this key right here, thumb. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so our pinkies are not pressing down on any of the keys. We're close to, our fingers are close to the clarinet, but we're not pushing those keys down. And so the low G sounds like this. That's going to be your first note. So we start off our low G. Our next note up is A. And then the next note is B natural. B natural, I like to call it thumb one, two, three, two, as opposed to thumb one, two, three, one, which is B flat. So it's really important to remember that in G major, all the keys, excuse me, all the notes are natural with the exception of the F. The F is sharp. That's that special note that gives us G major, right? We start on G and then we make sure that we play that F sharp. That's that seventh note within that scale. Okay, so let's try it. I'm going to play starting on the low G and I'm going to ascend. Ascend means to go up the scale and the note I'm going to end on is my open G. I'm going to demonstrate. I played the G scale, I played it ascending, so I started on my low G, and I ended on my open G. So we played a total of eight notes, eight notes that's an octave. So you might hear me say the word octave, I, that's what I'm referring to. We played a one octave G major scale. So I stopped at the open G, what I'm going to do is repeat the open G, and then descend, going down to back to that lower G. Let's give it a shot. have noticed was I used a metronome. The metronome is a really important tool when you're practicing because it allows us to keep track of how our progress is and it allows us not to get too fast or too slow and make sure that we are playing all of our notes evenly. The other thing that you might have noticed was that each note I was playing was for two clicks. 
So I was, I was thinking about half notes. So in 4-4 four, four time, common time, where the quarter note gets the beat and we have four beats per measure, the half note would equal two beats. So that's what I was thinking. Each note gets two clicks, two beats. And I repeated the higher note and then I descended back to our low note, okay? Let's try another scale. Let's try F major. F major is a, another scale that you might have played already. And this scale has a different uh, set of notes. There are a lot of similar notes, but there are some different notes within the scale than what we had previously played with G major. So first of all, we're gonna be playing the low F. Now the low F, we have our thumb, one, two, three, then one, two, three, and then we're using our pinky. So let me show you the, the bottom portion, the lower joint of my clarinet. This is the key that I am pressing down. Okay, so I wanna make sure that my pinky presses down on that key. Now, for some of us, that reach is a little bit challenging. So it's really important that you don't strain your hands. So try to relax your hands as much as possible and make sure that you're covering all the tone holes, that's these guys right here, and making sure that you hit the key, that's this right here, and a low F sounds like this. You probably notice we're playing one note lower than the last scale that we played, the G, right? We played G before, and now we're playing an F. It's not the lowest note in the clarinet, but it's pretty low. All right, so just like G major has its special notes, so does F major. The special note for F major is the B flat. That fingering is thumb, one, two, three, one, as opposed to that B natural that we had played before in the G major scale. F has to have flats for the B, so B is always flat in F major, okay? We're gonna start on our low F, and we're going to ascend, go up to our F, the, what I call the thumb F right here, okay? So that's one octave, that's eight notes. And then we're going to repeat that top note, and then we're gonna descend, go down to our lower note, that F, okay? Let's give it a shot. One, two, ready. <laughs> First, the G major scale. We'll take a slight pause and then we'll go into our F major scale. You did it. 
nice work everybody thank you so much for joining me it's always more fun to practice with a partner right so we have our F major scale and our G major scale good job if you found that a little bit challenging work on it slowly you can always slow down the tempo or you can always play smaller groupings of the notes like maybe you just play F G and A first maybe those notes are a little tricky to get and you can concentrate and focus on those little spots right there all right so nice work everybody thanks for joining me take care